Whether you are just starting with your online store or maybe you already have a store and you are trying to improve it, this app is going to greatly help you. Today's video is not a sponsored video and I'm not creating it because someone asked me to try this app and review it. No, I'm creating this video out of a 100% personal decision because I really love this app and I really believe that it can greatly help you to improve your Shopify store. How your store looks depends greatly on the theme you choose. And I always recommend you to choose a professional theme that has almost all the sections that you want to feature on your store. So let's say for example, you sell clothes. In this case, you should be looking at a theme that has like shop the look sections or bundle section. If for example, you sell food, you should be looking at a theme that shows ingredients lists. If you sell grocery, you should be looking at a theme that supports local businesses and so on. But no matter what you do and no matter how precise you are, most of probably you will never find a theme that has all the sections and all the features that you dream about. And you will say, okay, I'm going to go with this theme even if it doesn't have all the sections I want. And you will be left with one of three solutions. The first one is to simply let go. So let's say you picked a theme that doesn't have a comparison table and you want to add a comparison table. In this case, you say, it's fine, I'm not going to add it. Or you go to a web developer and you pay them in order to add this section to your theme. And this is a little bit risky because it means that you will never be able to update your theme without going back to this web developer and paying them back again and again. So this is a little bit costly. Or you install the app I'm going to show you. The app I'm going to show you is called Section Store and it offers a library of sections that you can directly add to any theme any theme on your Shopify store. Not long ago, I was working with a client and we wanted to add a comparison table to our product page in order to improve our conversion rate by explaining to our customers how our product stands out in the market. But the theme we are using, and it is actually a super professional theme, doesn't offer a comparison table section. So we use this app to add a comparison table and it looks amazing both on desktop and on mobile. I'm going to move to my screen to show you how to use this app and you will see by yourself how easy it is. So this is the app I'm talking about and it's called Section Store Theme Sections. And you just need to install it on your Shopify store. But before doing this, if you click here on View Demo Store, you can see all the different sections that this app offers you. Okay, so if you have something in mind and you want like to check it out, you can check it out in here. If you click on, let's say, for example, uh, trust badges in here, you can see them in action in here. So I'm going back to the theme itself to show you that it has more than 830 ratings and the total rating is 4.9. And if you scroll down, you will see a lot of people who have left a lot of positive reviews. So I'm going to show you this theme in action so you can understand more why I really liked it. So you just need to start by adding this app to your Shopify store. So I'm going to install this app on my store and to show you how it works. You click on install and once it's installed, you can start working with it. So as you can see first in here, you have the dashboard and under here you have explore sections and this is where I want you to go. So when you click on explore section, you can see all the sections that this theme offers and you can pick the section that you want to add to your Shopify store. So for example, I want to add the comparison table because I don't have it. I will click on comparison. I will actually type comparison. And as you can see, I can uh, see different sections that I can work with. So in here we have like seven, eight, two, six. We have so many options to pick from when it comes to the comparison table. So they have given us multiple options. Okay, I will go with this one because this is the one that I have tested. So I will click on it. And as you can see in here, you have a preview and some comments in here. And you can click on purchase section or view, view demo store or try section. So let's go to view demo store to see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like on desktop. I can't preview it here on mobile, but you can always copy the link and paste it on your browser, on your mobile to see how it looks on mobile. Remember, it's super important to make sure that any section that you are adding to your store is mobile friendly and responsive. This is super, super important. Okay, I've already tested this table, so I know that it looks good on mobile. But anyway, let's go back in here. 
In addition to viewing the demo store, we can actually try section. When you click on try section, they take you to a like theme they have created where you can play around with the section, see it in action, uh, modify it, see how it looks like. So I will click on add section and I will add my comparison table. So remember, this is not you adding the section to your store because you can do this before purchasing the section and the sections in here are not expensive at all, maybe $9 per section and that's it for whole life, okay? When you scroll in here, you will see all the settings related to this section in here. So starting by body gap, body gap on mobile, content settings, and when you click, click here on mobile, you can see the mobile preview of the section. I need to tell you that although in here the mobile preview doesn't look good, in reality it does look good and I'm going to show it to you on my client's store. So going back to the desktop view in here, as you can see in here you can change the spacings, in here you can change the heading, this part, and you can decide whether you want to use custom fonts or you want to use the same fonts as the store. When you click on custom fonts, you choose your fonts from here. So you choose a different font from here. Let's say I'm going to go with this one. As you can see, I'm changing this. If I remove it, it's going to go back to the font originally like chosen by the theme. Okay, then when you scroll down, you will see more options related to changing this section. And the amount of customization you will see in here is actually surprising because you can change literally everything like spacings, alignments, the text, the fonts, uh, even the colors, like, like it's, it's really amazing, okay? And in here you start like changing the table content. So in here you are basically changing the row in here. So you change it, you can even more work around and change everything on, in this section if you wish. Okay, here you have the color section. So if you want to change the colors, you can change them from here. You can even change the button style, the section colors, and so on. After you check all the settings and you make sure that this section actually does what you want it to do, you just need to purchase the section and you will find it available within your current theme. So this is a store where we have actually purchased this theme. And you will see now that when I click on add section in here, the section that I have added will be showing in here and it is the comparison table. As you can see, this is the section. So I can simply click on it and I will have it on my Shopify store. That's it. And I can start modifying it from here. Okay, let me show you how we have used the section and how we have modified it. If we scroll down to this page, so as you can see, this is the same section. We've just changed the fonts the colors, the content of the tables, and it looks amazing. Even on mobile, if you check the mobile preview, you will see that it looks amazing as well. And remember, you can always go to the explore sections area in here and check all the different sections this app offers and see what sections you want to add to your Shopify store. I found this app to be super simple to use, to be very beneficial and very functional and not expensive at all. So if you are looking to add some sections or functionalities to your Shopify store and they are not already provided by your current theme, I highly recommend you to check this app. I will leave the link of this app below in the description if you want to try it out or if you want to use it. So that's it for today's video. I hope that this app will help you to improve your Shopify store. Before leaving and if you like this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. Thank you again and see you soon. Bye bye.